Hi there, this is Richard Pierce from buildajoomlawebsite.com. In this video I'd like to answer the question, how long does it take to update a Joomla website? This is an Australian travel industry news website that gets updated every weekday and I'm just going to show you very quickly how little time it takes to update the content on the site. This is not designed to be a tutorial, you won't really be able to see exactly what buttons I'm pressing because I'll be going very quickly. It's just to give you an understanding of how little work is involved in updating Joomla sites. So this is the front end of the website, the public site, and this is the back end, the Joomla administrator. I'm in a section called Article Manager, and this is where we enter new content, and I also have nine articles that I'll be updating today. And so the first step is just to grab the headline, click new, and then grab all the text and paste it into this editor. Might need to sometimes format that a little bit. And with this particular one, and for most of these, I'm actually going to be creating what I call a two-part article where just the first part of the article is displayed, followed by a link to read more, as in read the rest of the article. Uh, and that's all there is. Just while I've been talking there, that first one's ready to go. And so I click Save and move on to the next one. That's how easy it is to update one article. Uh, to do nine articles is not that much harder. So I'm just going to run through that same process again. So I'm just copying that, pasting this in in a, a special way. Uh, Anyone who's used content management systems before might be aware that pasting from Microsoft Word or some other word processors can be a problem. Uh, sometimes extra code is thrown in that we don't want. And so when I paste it, I'm using a special uh, feature in the editor that allows me to just paste it as plain text. This is the third one. Joomla also has a number of different HTML editors that you can use. This particular one has a spell check built into it, uh, and I've just activated that where it can run through your article and anything that it doesn't understand will get a red underline there so that you can check your spelling as you go. And now that I've put a few in, I'm just going to update the homepage as I go. Anyone who gets to the homepage now is going to see all of yesterday's news and today's news. I don't want that, so I'm just going to get rid of yesterday's news now. Once again, this isn't really designed to be a tutorial. Uh, head over to buildajoomlawebsite.com if you'd like to know how to actually build a Joomla site. I'll take you through step by step how to do that. Uh, once again, I'm just trying to give you an overview of how fast it can be to update a site, even with a lot of content. Like any piece of software or anything you're doing really, it takes a while to get used to some of these steps and I've been doing this a long time so it is very fast for me, but even beginners tell me that they're able to pick this up very, very quickly. Now, although I've prepared the content for this site earlier, uh, the you can actually write. Oops, I've mucked something up there. You can actually put your content directly into the editor. There's no reason to uh, write it in a word processor first. A lot of people like to work that way. Some don't.
There are also Joomla extensions that can speed this process up even more. I just wanted to show you today the standard Joomla interface, but there are extensions available that allow you to enter multiple pieces of content, uh, a number of articles, all at the one time, which can speed this process up even more. Now, in this particular article, we're going to add an image. And it's that one. Okay, uh, this is actually going to be our lead article. So that's not going to be a two-part article. So this is how you upload images. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. It's that one. And again, this editor that I'm using at the moment is not the standard one that comes with Joomla. It's a thing called JCE, Joomla Content Editor. A lot of people replace the standard editor, as this one is easier to use, particularly when doing what I'm doing right now, which is adding images. Uh, it's available for free at joomlacontenteditor.net. Okay, I'm happy with all of that. And this is the last one. This one also has an image. And I'm going to put this image here. And this particular image is a smaller one and we'll align that to the right, give it a bit of spacing around it. And give it a description. And in this case, a caption as well. Okay, happy with that. And save. Uh, front page, yes. And save. Now, I have a vague feeling that as I was going through there, I may have done one of these incorrectly, uh, but that'll be good. I can come back and show you how to edit. The last step that I have is here in front page manager. This is a special section of administrator that allows you to uh, alter the formatting of the front page. In my case, these need to be in a particular order and it's really easy to change the order of articles. Uh, in this case, though, I'll just move this one up and then go back to the front page, the front end and refresh. And there's the new lead article with a full width photo and the full text of that article, followed by all of the other articles, just their first lines, and a link here to read more, which would take you through to the full detail of the article. It uh, doesn't look like I did do any mistakes there, so that's all good. If, however, you did make a mistake, it's really easy just to come back in here, go to Content, Article Manager, open an article, and make whatever changes you need to do, and then click Save. And so there, in just a few minutes, you can see it's very easy to update the content on a Joomla-driven website, uh, nine articles, in just a few minutes.